My name is Coley and I am an educator here at the Children's Museum of New Hampshire and this month we are celebrating Family Dental Health Month. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about teeth and we are going to be talking a little bit about animals teeth today and we're going to look at two different animal skulls and learn about what they use their teeth for. So in this book, the tooth book, you can see a lot of different types of animals and how many teeth they have. Some of them have lots of teeth and some of them have only a few. Um, but what these different animals have in common is that they use their teeth to eat, just like people do. So different animals have different types of teeth based on what kind of food they eat. And some animals, like a duck, they don't have teeth at all. They're able to eat without them. So today, we're going to look at two different types of skulls. And I'm here in the naturalist study in the museum um, because one of those skulls is from an animal that we have lots of artifacts from in our collection. And that is a beaver. Me? Yes, that's right, you. We have lots of artifacts. You can see above where I'm sitting, there is another beaver artifact that is preserved that you can look at. Um, and we also have some beaver chews where you can see where beavers have used their teeth to chew on wood. Would you like to demonstrate how that works for us? Sure. That's right. <laughs> beavers use their teeth to strip away bark from trees. Um, and they do that to both eat, because they eat the inner layer of bark from trees, but they also do that so that they can use the wood to build with. Um, so beavers can move pieces of wood, not just with their teeth, um, but with other parts of their body. They can move through the water, um, but they have some really big front teeth. Um, would you like to show yours off? Uh. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you the ones um, on a jaw that we have from a beaver. So this is a beaver's jaw. And you'll notice that in the front, there's a very, very big tooth. This is only one side of the jaw. So normally, a beaver will have two of these teeth. I'm only showing you one side. And in the back, they have teeth similar to our molars that we have in the back of our mouths that they use to crunch up food. So their food is inner layer of bark on trees and they also eat some leafy greens and roots and things that they can find uh, with nutrients from them. So that's what the jaw looks like from the side. They have these really long front teeth that all rodents have and these never stop growing. So if they were to stop chewing and chipping away at pieces of wood, they might eventually not be able to eat anymore because their teeth would grow too long. So now I'm going to show you the whole jaw or the whole skull rather of a beaver. So this is what it looks like from the front and this is what it looks like from the side. And you can see that there are two of these big front teeth and there are two on the bottom. One of these is a little bit chipped, um, but these are actually very strong when the beaver is alive and it helps them to be able to knock down really, really big trees. Um, and then you can see there's a big gap here. So remember we said that they can move things like sticks around? They need to have a little space between their rows of teeth so that they can grab something in their mouth like a, like a big stick and swim with it. Um, and so then there's, there's a little gap, there's a little bit of space, and then their back teeth start. And they have those teeth that look a lot like our molars that they use for crunching down food. So the other skull I'm going to show you is from a different kind of animal that lives in the water and it eats something different. <laughs> so this is the other skull that I have to show you today. Can anyone guess what kind of skull this is? What kind of animal it's from? It's actually not a whole skull, it's just a jaw. If you guess that this was from a shark, Give yourself a nice little shark fin round of applause. Good job. Um, yes, this is a shark skull from a mako shark. So sharks have really sharp teeth. 
The beaver's teeth are sharp too, but they're sharp in a different way. Um, it's more like a, the end of a hammer, like a chisel, where they can chip, chip, chip away at wood. And a shark's teeth are more pointy. Some of their teeth are a little bit of like our front teeth that are made um, for pulling apart different types of food. Um, most sharks are carnivores, which means they're only going to be eating meat. Um, so they have found just a few sharks have been found to eat um, other things like seaweed and kelp and seagrass, but scientists are still studying that and trying to figure out why they do that. But almost every shark is going to eat just meat um, from fish and crabs and other animals that they find in the ocean. So their teeth need to be sharp to be able to pull the meat apart and to be able to chew it up. Um, and some sharks have layers of teeth. So there's a front row, and then you can see there's a second row, and there's even a third row in this jaw. Um, and these are very sharp. When we have um, visitors look at this, we actually don't let anyone touch it because the teeth are so sharp. And it's also very fragile because this is cartilage around the teeth. It's different from the hard skull that we have that's made of bone. Um, so these two different types of animals eat very different things. One is a carnivore and eats meat. One is an herbivore and eats plants. And because of that, they have different types of teeth. Now, we humans have both, of, um, both types of teeth similar to these two animals because we eat all kinds of different foods. And an animal or a person that eats different types of foods is called an omnivore. That means that they might eat plants, but they also might eat things like meat. Um, and a bear is a good example of an animal that's an omnivore. Um, so we need to do lots of things as human beings to keep our teeth healthy. Um, so some of those things are things like taking care of our teeth, brushing them and flossing them and eating certain types of food that are healthy for us that have vitamins and nutrients and minerals that we need and also being sure not to eat too much of things that might hurt our teeth like sugar. And we're going to have another video this month that's all about foods that are really good for your teeth. So look out for that. And thank you for joining us today to learn a little bit about animal teeth. Thank you, bye.